Hi guys, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I have some awesome news. So I have my own website now. Um, I've been taking a writer's workshop for about three years and it's where I post all of my writing. So go check it out. It's surrealreadings.com and well, let's just get right into the game. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot. Again, I have been doing more schoolwork and I've just been really busy. So I will post whenever I can. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Yes, the ship is sailing. Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Oh, it's already Sunday. Wow, time skip. <laughs> I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Spicing things up. <laughs> there's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. Oh, I, I have a song like that I can reference, but I can't remember the lyrics. Um, meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. Oh, she, it's moving so fast. <laughs> she was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was actually already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. Oh, sad days. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. But you're more importantly focusing on Yuri. I mean, I love Sayori. No, seriously, I love Sayori. She's like the best friend ever. Um, between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? No, it is not. You need to go to her and be the best friend ever. Oh, it's... I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past, that's a little scary. <laughs> Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Where are your parents? Like, I'm pretty sure this is high school, but I'm not quite sure. So, like, where are your parents? It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Oh my gosh, it is so cute! It's so cute, I love the little- Oh, she's got plants. Sayori? Hi, Surreal. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Oh, she's sad. Ah, oh, I guess you're right. Oh, I'm loving the music right now. <laughs> it has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Siri's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. It's not like anything has changed. <laughs> If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. I hate cleaning. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Well, Sayori ships it, but she probably doesn't. <laughs> yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left, but... Blah, blah, blah. Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for to her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. 
but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Oh, that's sad. We need to get out of the house. This Mia helps. I know. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sarah stares in a random direction. She's like, <gasps> Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles, shaking her head. She's already been hiding it for years. That's no good, Surreal. Uh, why can't it just be like it's always been? Because change is a natural part of life. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings- Siri, no, you're human! If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. You want me to think more about you? But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until now, I won't be... Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Huh. <laughs> Sarah gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Surreal. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Surreal? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. I know. You know that? Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? So you're, you're not worthless, girl. I love you. You're the best. Why eat? It's kind of... I know saying, like, giving her compliments and everything through the screen is not gonna help. It's not gonna help if I say it in, like, real life, but... Yeah. Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time? Did she really want so bad for me, for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Uh, why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done something I could to support you, even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Surreal. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It was like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it is for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Surreal. There's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that we could have helped is if everything could go back like it always was. But I was selfish. 
I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Yori, you're not a horrible person for feeling. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Oh, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. And now you come, came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments, because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a heart, or tight embrace. A heart embrace, yes. I embrace her with my cardiovascular organ. Ah, it's real. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Serial. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Serial. Harry I... barely manages to speak through it between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make those feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Tut tut tut. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, finally, Sayori puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't know, understand any of my feelings, Cyril. The only times I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. That's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I feel her go as well. I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh... It's what I want, I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Terry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good idea. If that would be very good for me today. That's fair. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. I mean, I understand as like the player. But I guess the protagonist doesn't. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. Okay, so I may joke and I may, like, try to act funny, but tame. that, like, really hurt. So, after that emotional scene, I think that I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if you can, check out the website. Um, lately there's been two posts, Royals are for Royals, and I... In the next video, thank you so much for watching.